Hello, hi everybody, it's Matt from Dull Vertical Sayings here, and today I'm going to show you my Halo Code deck profile. Um, so, hit that sub button. Uh, right, so we'll jump straight in then. So, it's got permanent where you can't include uh, black battle cards um, into your deck, it would make it too easy to do what the deck needs to do, which is why they've done that. Uh, it's going to activate main once per turn where you can discard three uh, blue and other world food card cards from your hand and then draw three cards. And when your life's at f uh, four or less, order three or more Halo Angels in your drop. It's a 1-1. One, one, and then you rip down to six. The Awaken side is when you attack, you discard a card from your hand and then draw a card. And then he's got Activate Main, where you can send up to two and a little Buddha Guide cards uh, from your drop to your warp, add a Halo from your drop to your hand. And then he's got an Activate Battle, which is once per turn, where you can use up to two and a little Buddha Guide cards with 5k combo from your warp in a combo, uh, but they get minus 3k combo. And that's it for the leader. Uh, so the Z deck, we have three of this Goku. Uh, so this one costs one and three Zangai energy. And then he's an auto of you place one, he gives the energy in his own draw. At the end of the turn, move this card from the game, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, energy costs five or less, and place a bomb the owner's deck. And then he's got an activate main once per turn. If you lead a card is mono blue and you just got one extra card from your hand, draw a card and he gains a crit. Uh, the other card for the Z deck is Cell. Uh, so it's three cost and then two Zenko. It's got deflect and crit. It's got an auto. When he's played, you choose all your opponent's battle cards and your cost of five or less and put them underneath him. And he's got an activate main, which is once per turn. If you got one or more card under this, card uh, and you place them place all of those cards into the owner's drop you can switch this card to active mode additionally if you dropped four or more cards it gains triple strike and that's it for the z cards and so onto the extra cards and onto the main deck as well uh, so we have good old dimension magic uh, which is just two copies of for this deck well for me anyway uh, so it's negate, it's also sparking five, so you got five and drop you can rip alive. And you can tap on up to two energy when you use it. Um, all too easy is another negate, but this is your drop negate where you can pay the cost uh, and also walk well remove this card and a card from your hand from the game and use this card from the drop area. Um, simple there really. Um, and then we got the it, what the car or well, the entire deck focuses around basically uh, most of your skills either discard this or it's used to some form of cost or what well, to play cards out um, and cost zero but it's not very battle limit one it's a 1k combo but if you've got a z battle card out it's additional 4k uh, and then we got bean with its errata not obviously a rotted text, but still a rotted. Um, it's that fake battle, but it's only during your opponent's turn. Now, you still exactly the same effect, it's just only during your opponent's turn to get the uh, 1 or 2 energy back and the 5k. Um, to the battle cards then. So, the 1 cost first. Um, we have 4 copies of North Kai. Uh, this is a card that you need to see turn one really because it helps you get going with the deck. Um, it's got barrier, it's activate main once per turn where you can place up to one angel hater from your deck into drop. And then he's got an activate main which is cost and energy to do exactly the same thing but you can also do it from the life. Um, but then if you do it from the um, do it from the life, place one angel hater from your deck and then yeah and then Look for your life, place one angel halo from your life to your drop, and then you place a card from top of your deck into your life. So you do get a life back for it. You don't just lose out, which is fine, but yeah. Generally, you want to try and stay at high life as much as you can to some degree. Uh, and then we got four copies of West Kai. This is just your one drop searcher, top five. For, a um, no will Budokai or West Galaxy range cost of five or less, but then it also can get a specified cost uh, to Unison. Um, so for two costs, da -da 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 -da. Just grab all of those. Right, 
I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. So, uh, we've got the wolf guy, doggo thing, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, two costs, permanent, if there are two or more angel halo cards in your drop, uh, you can reduce his cost by one, so it becomes a one drop. And also, when his card is played, you draw a card, and then you play up to one, another will build a card, card from your uh, warp into your drop. And then he's got an um, activate main, which is a limit one, if you lead a card, another will build a guy card. And you send this card to your warp, and then discard an angel halo from your hand, add up to one, another will build a guy card from energy cost between three and seven from your warp to your hand. And then super combo is the choice. You've got three copies of the Grand Kai. Um, this is just because it meets the requirements of the Budokai. It's just a super combo. But then we got a one off. Uh, draw two for Jeter. So you bottom deck a card and then draw two. Both of those super combos are four or less live. On to the three costs. Which there's only two. Oh, okay. Um, so we got the built in the gate for the deck. Um, so you get three cards, it's counter attack and you get attack and play this card. Permanent, uh, if it's your opponent's turn and you got two or more angels, angel halos in your drop, reduce the cost by two in your hand so it becomes a one cost. Um, but then he's got the auto, um, if you need a card, it's a little boot card card. And you discard one angel halo from your hand. When this card is played, your opponent can't attack with battle cards, and you cost a five or less unless they choose a card from your hand and bottom deck it. And then the other card is four copies of this guy. Um, so he's auto, discard one, and another will build a card card from your hand. When this card is played, draw one card, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and return it to your owner's hand. So a bit of spot removal is always nice. And then he's got activate main of limit one by paying one blue. Uh, you discard one angel halo from your hand, and you play this guy from the wall. So it can be a one cost. Um, so the four costs, there is only the one, um, but this card is so good that I kind of like love having it at four. Um, so it's the Goku versus Pycar on Dead Heat. Um, so he's got Deflect and Dual Attack, two autos and an Activate Main. His first auto is when he attacks, you choose up to one battle card with a 5k combo uh, from your drop and use it in a combo. And then if you do that, you choose up to one of your opponent's um, battle cards and you bottom deck it. And then the other auto is at the end of the turn, you draw a card, get an energy back. And then he's going to activate me, which is limit one, by paying two blue. Um, if you've got three or more energy, you discard two or more uh, mono blue extra cards from your hand. Play this card and he gains barrier. Card is so good. <laughs> um, and then for the five costs, we've got Pycom. Um, Honestly guys, he is literally only in here as 5k combo, another will be the guy target, and charge harder. That is it. <laughs> so, to be honest, I'm not really gonna go over this card. Um, it's more for the if you use if you got the actual PyCon deck, then this is where he's more more useful. But in this deck he's just the fodders. Which is good because it has the consistency, it means that you can charge this guy and not lose out on um, the other cards that you want to be using more often because you can actually use them. Um, and then for the six costs we've got the Another World Blitz Goku. This card is ridiculous. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's just nuts. <laughs> it's got Deflect, Triple Strike, Barrier, Blocker. Why? <laughs> Um, he's got two autos and an activate main. So his first auto is when he's played, you draw a card and then you choose X number of your opponent's battle cards where the X is the amount of extra cards in your draw and you bottom deck them. And then his limit one, which is the other auto, at the end of turn you switch one of your energy to active mode and himself. And if you've got no battle cards in drop, he only costs four to bring out with his activate main. And then for the last card of the deck, just three copies of the eight cost icon. This is literally the same reasoning as the five cost one. It's just another one to card target. It's charge fodder. So unless you're actually using the Pycon deck, you're not going to really get massive use out of it other than charging target for him to discard and draw. Um, yes, the downside to this one is he's a one cost 10k combo. Um, 
so you can't use it for your four cost Goku and you can't use it for this but that's fine all right guys so there you go that is my Halo Koo deck profile thanks for watching leave any thoughts in the comments below hit that sub button and I'll see you next time bye bye